The story starts with the captain of the ship named Robinson and the beginning. He was serving in the Navy, but now he has been working under the company Agora for 11 years. The company's task is to search the wrecked and sunk ships. One day, this company dismisses some of its employees, including Robinson. Robinson is depressed because of his sudden termination from his job, because he had been segregated from his wife and son during these 11 years. Being busy, he never attends to them, so his wife had left him. Robinson has a son of 11 years old who lives with his wife. Robinson also has a friend named Kirsten. In the firm, he is also dismissed from the firm. Kirsten is worried, taking a matter because he is debtor. He also takes anti-depression pills. Once they are all in a bar, Kirsten reveals a secret to them. Before it, let us know about the Black Sea. The Black Sea is surrounded by five countries and its depth is to 200 meters. Kirsten reveals the search done by Agora in the Black Sea. Hitler's army Nazi was completely destroyed in 1941. Russia was still safe from the war threats, but Russia had fear of the attack of Germany. Taking the advantage of it, Hitler loaned two ton of gold from Russia. Its cost may be estimated as a ship was filled with gold by Hitler, taking the boat from Russia. But that ship did not reach to Hitler. Either it sank into the sea while sailing or was conspired to sink. Consequently, Hitler attacked Russia. Million of people met their destiny during four years' battle. Afterward, a research institute searched out a U-boat. They claimed it was the same boat where the gold was placed. They took it to the Georgia government and revealed the location of the U-boat. Georgia government agreed to take it out, and war broke out between Georgia and Russia, and limits began to cross. Russia was unknown about the U-boat location while Georgia was aware, but no one could enter the Black Sea until the dispute is resolved, and that U-boat will remain sunk in the sea. Robinson, who is aware of it, discusses it with an aristocratic man, because the expense may take a peek in this research, and the finance is in dire need of it. A person named Lewis is ready to invest in this research, but he wants to take 40% of all gold in return. Robinson agrees while his friend Kirsten commits suicide under depression. Robinson gets an investor for this search. In the beginning, he buys an old submarine. In spite of it, he purchases it. There is a Russian friend with Robinson whose name is Blackie. They arrange a crew of 12 people including half English and half Russian. After planning, Robinson chooses the Russian because they have taken a Russian submarine, and the Black Sea is occupied by Russia. Russians will prove helpful in order to escape from their countrymen. A minimum of 12 members is needed to sail a submersible. Russians who are experts in the field are selected. Some employees are employed to do stuff like safeguard the engine, gold, and cook. They necessitate a seasoned diver, so they hire refrigerator, an enthusiastic and expert diver. They sail in the sea after arranging team and submarine. Robinson, last time, has a look of blue sky, and they all sail the submarine into the sea after closing its door. Each member of the team takes his duty, and they go for the exploration of the gold. Everything is alright till now. Gathering all, Captain provides information to them. He mentions gold saying, everyone will be awarded an equal share of the gold from the rest of 60% because 40% of gold is owned by the investor. Daniels is the assistant of the investor. Daniel advises Robinson, you should not say as such, they may kill each other if they have lust in their hearts, because their share will be lessened in this way, and Captain should not utter so. All were professionals in the submarine. After a risky search, when they reach the location of the U-boat, suddenly, a Russian ship crosses them. They save themselves, stopping the engine. Now they plan to bring the propeller shaft of the submarine, along with gold which was exploded in the submarine. They will start the submarine using the propeller shaft of the submarine, leaving this place. Then they dive outside almost at two or three meter distance and search the U-boat. U-boat which consisted of two tons of gold. Going into it, they also get the propeller shaft of the submarine. The broad carriage could not carry the heavyweight. They basically had come to take the propeller shaft of the submarine. The freezer delivers gold as well as the propeller shaft. As a result, the carriage has got heavy. It takes force to drag. They are taking that carriage to the submarine but they are blocked, controlling the grip of carriage. All gold is dropped by them. Only the propeller shaft is left. Freezer returns with the propeller shaft. All are dejected at the loss of the gold, and they try to drive submarines on the surface. But Daniel, the assistant of Lewis, reveals a secret to Captain Robinson, as it has been conspired. Lewis is not a rich investor. Actually, Agora had compromised with Georgia, because it is risky for them to take out the boat. Agora members had planned it, and dismissed all the capable employees of the firm. And being compelled, you all got ready to take revenge and money from this firm. Agora gave $30,000 to Kirsten in order to make you agree to coach, and you are easily entrapped. 
as you moved on the surface, taking the gold. Agra could take all gold from you, arresting all of you. Hearing it, Robinson has gone mad in anger, and he also thinks his company may show its inhuman side. The dropped gold could not be gained again. Otherwise, there was also more gold. They bring three tons of gold to the submarine. It is beyond their thoughts. They will no longer give Lewis 40% of the company. They are owners of all gold. Each will get 82 million because eight people are left. If they are successful to take it out, they will now go beyond their current location to avoid Agora. Taking gold, they run the propeller shaft of the submarine. They are doubtful of its working. They think either they will get freed from here or entrapped here forever for dying. They start the engine of submarine and it begins to work. They are joyful thinking their future changing high status, moving at a distance. They come to know something by the helpers who ask them to alert and stop submarines. They try to stop its working and hardly stop. There is something wrong in the portal and chart, so the submarine is caught in the rocks. They could cross these rocks, passing 40 meters. Taking the help of helpers, they try to get free from the rocks. Suddenly, there is an explosion in the submarine because of something, and the submarine is sunk into the sea. It is holed. As a result, it started to build to water. They try to maintain water flow, but it is pointless, except for Robinson and his two companions. In this disaster, someone has always committed suicide. Robinson saves the lives of his mates but dies himself because one person was equipped to control the submersible, whilst also saving both of them, and he is left behind with a submarine in the sea forever. This movie ends here.